Hey, what's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. I am Wolstalker25, and today I got another action figure review for you guys on the relatively new Marvel Legends uh, upgrade suit Walmart exclusive Spider-Man. Um, so yeah, you can only pick this up at, at Walmart. I want to say it was somewhere between $19.99 and $24.99, probably $22.99 for the price on it. Um, I don't know if it's still available right now as I'm recording this review. I'm recording this on the 2nd, so uh, we are just now entering November. This guy did release about probably like two weeks ago, I want to say. Um, well, I got mine probably like a week or two ago, something like that. But its orders did go up like probably two, three weeks ago, probably sometime early November or October. Um, so... What do you get with this guy? Well, you get two sets of hands. You get a set of uh, whipping hands with horizontal hinges. Um, and then you do get a set of like these open grippy hands. Not really fists. They look like fists, but they're not. And then you get the unmasked Tom Holland head, which I believe was only available in the like this this style of head i believe this was only available in the iron spider and mark 50 iron man two pack that they did i think you got that head in there i think it's the same one so um other than that how is this spider-man well this is a re-release pretty much of the uh far from home spider-man that they did previously so we will show him a little bit later in the video. So this is kind of like a redo of that figure again. Maybe, I don't know if there's any, like, I think it might be more accurate in a way um, with some regards. But this figure does look very cool. Uh, it is a bummer that they didn't paint the lines in there. And it is a little shiny for what, like, a fabric suit would probably be. So um, other than that, though, I really do like the look of this figure. I'm very happy to have it. It is slightly different from the other one, just taking a slight look at it. I haven't fully looked at them myself, so we will be doing this as, like, first time me comparing them, uh, on camera in a little bit. But, yeah, this guy's really good. I really like the sculpt. I like the look. I like the color of him. Um, I, everything about this figure is really nice, and I'm happy to have it in the collection because Spider-Man is kind of, like, Iron Man to me in the way where I really want one of each of the suits as well. So, how's the articulation on him, though? Uh, arms do go that far forward. They do have a... They do a full 360. You got a butterfly that actually gets you that far forward and that far back so not very far but it's, it's enough to get him in some better poses does have an upper bicep cut which actually is something i didn't notice in the zombie hunter spider-man review that we did yesterday um he didn't have the bi the butterfly so this one does have a butterfly uh i think most of the tom holland ones do yeah uh now you do get the double jointed elbows as well which do get closed that far and then the wrists do all swivel and hinge which is very nice like i said horizontal hinges there uh, head does look up that far pretty good down that much any tilt yes there is a tiny bit of tilt in there not very much but enough to get you in some little you know spider-man poses that you might do uh ab crunch goes back that far down that much does have a waist cut that could do a full 360 legs go forward that much back that much they are on like this weird like ball in there so you can actually like with these legs which is actually kind of cool i didn't know this they could like do like a more rotation out so you could like get them out a bit more how's the spider-man do on the splits pretty good does have an upper thigh cut double jointed knees which gets you up that much he's gonna kick his own center of the back there no boot cut nothing like that ankles do go back that far do go forward that much and he does have the wonderful ankle pivot as always so very very nice so far i really do like this figure uh especially because this is like you know this is what a walmart exclusive should be it's a pretty much like a redo of a previously released figure um this is part of what i would assume is the no way home wave um, I can't remember if there was another, like, No Way Home exclusive somewhere else at, like, Target or something like that. I feel like there was, but there wasn't, so maybe it was just Walmart. Um, now this guy does stand about five and three quarter inches tall, just about a little under six inches, not exactly six inches, maybe not exactly five and quarter, but, yeah, so, alright, let's do some comparisons with some other Hasbro brands really quick. Here's with your Star Wars Black Series, Captain Rex. 
in your Power Rangers Lightning Collection Dino Thunder Red. Dino Thunder Red is taller, which I feel like is fine, and Rex is taller as well, since this Tom is also, you know, high school. He's probably like junior year of high school or something like that. Um, here is with your Figma Goku, or not Figma, SH Figure Arts Goku, and your Figma Samus. There you go. Your Halo Spartan Collection Master Chief, your Mezco Stealth Iron Man, your Mofex Batman, forgot to do this in yesterday's review, but your Revel Tech All Might, and I want to say that's it. Yeah, that's really all we need to do with those guys. Now let's see him next to some other Marvel Legends. Here he is with your your two pack Infinity Saga Happy Hogan, which looks very nice together. I'm really happy to have those two together. No, nope, you know, wasn't trying to do a pun there with that. And uh, here he is next to some other Spider Man suits from the upcoming No Way Home movie. Here he is next to, I believe that's the advanced suit, and this is the black and gold one. I want to say those are the only Spider-Man suits from this new... Yeah, those are the only ones from this new um, movie that we should have that we know of so far. So there's those two. There's a look at them. Here he is with your uh, Spider-Man Homecoming, Tom Holland, from the two-pack with the Mark 47, 48 Iron Man. Uh, and now here's an old Tom Holland unmasked head from Homecoming. And here he is with your unmasked head from No Way Home. And the head, this one is a lot smaller. But it does look good with this one. I think it looks better. It's got more of a Tom Holland look. But this one, I don't know. I don't know how I feel about the first one. So there you go with that one. And then last little Spider-Man review. Or, not review. Uh, there he is with Miles from the video game. And Miles is a bit taller. Um, so... I think Miles would be probably like 18 here in from the game, whereas Spider-Man is probably only like 17 here, you know, in this look. And uh, here he is with a comparison next to your your Far From Home variant. And now, as you can see immediately, the shoes have a black bit there. The belt has black here, where it doesn't here. The Spider logo has more white on it and more like bold white on the logos here. It looks like the they're the same body size. I think this one's leaning forward a little bit more. Um, they actually look like they have a different head. It looks like this head is smaller, whereas this head is longer over here. Um, yeah, it does look like that. So let's see. Uh, I think. I think the one on the right is shorter, and the one on the left is a longer, they have a longer head there, a longer face. Um, other than that, they do look about the same height, same size, sculpt work all looks the same on the back. The spider is definitely more bold here. Um, they're the same, this one's just painted more full on the, on the right side, on the new one. And then, looks like the forearms are all the same. Everything else looks the same. It's just really the spider details, and I think the head sculpts are different. Um, I could be wrong there, but this one definitely looks longer to me. I don't know. Maybe not. Maybe the heads are the same. I, I can't tell. They, they look different on camera, and they look different like to me as well. It looks like this one is smaller and sits higher. I, I don't know, but... Uh, let's see how the head, Tom Holland head, works on this body really quick. And there he is with the unmasked head as well. So get a look at that on there, which looks pretty good. I do really like that, but we're gonna keep the, uh, we're gonna keep the mask on him because I like Spider-Man with his with his mask on. Um, and then one last little thing. Here he is. One more size comparison. In case he somehow appears in the movie, spoiler warning, I don't know, um, you know, leaks are leaks, rumors are rumors, I don't know personally, this is just my once, I haven't really looked up a ton of leaks, but I've seen some. Here he is with an old, I think this was like Spider-Man classic or movies, but I think Toy Biz, I don't know if this was Toy Biz or Hasbro who did this one, but it is an old uh, Tobey Maguire Spider-Man. 
he is next to him with a size comparison. If he does appear in the movie, as you can see, Toby's Spider-Man is just a bit taller, as he should be, since he was more of a, you know, probably like in his late teens to early 20s in his movies, I think. So, uh, his <laughs> ankles don't really stand very well, so uh, he doesn't stand for very long. But there you go. That's a look at those two Spider-Men together for your movie Spider-Mans. I don't have any uh, Amazing Spider-Men at all unfortunately, so I can't put him next to him, but yeah, uh, I really do like this look. I'm happy to get it. Again, I think it is a nice improvement, and different enough from this one where it can be its own suit, like this is what, let's say this is what uh, Peter, Tom, did with it later after this one. He just upgraded it again, you know, upgraded the upgrade suit and made it look a little different, so I do like it. I'm happy to have it, and uh, I think if it's still available on Walmart, I do recommend it, especially if you don't have this one. I think it is a nice replacement, obviously, and with, you know, the new movie coming out, you want one of each of your Spider-Man suits, so you can have them in different looks for different bits of the movie, for different dioramas and different displays, so I really like it. I think it's great, especially for the price point. I mean, it's, it's okay. If it, was, if it was $24, then, you know... It was a little expensive for what it comes with. It doesn't really come with a lot. I think you could still use a set of open wall crawly hands and an actual full set of fists. Um, but other than that, I think it's a good figure. Really happy to have it in the collection. And spider man slowly becoming Iron Man. We're going to have a haul of suits. So, really liking it. Um, and uh, I do recommend it if you didn't get one and you still have the chance. Um, especially because it's Spider-Man, and Spider-Man will be insanely expensive come a couple months, and you won't find this ever again. <laughs> so, I say get it now while you can. Uh, if it's still available. If not, uh, looks like you missed out. But thank you all so much for watching. Hopefully you did enjoy this review. Reviews are going to be a little sporadic this week. I got a lot of stuff going on. So hopefully we have one tomorrow. I'm going to try and record it right now after this. I'm recording all this on Tuesday morning. And I'm going to try and edit as many as I can today and get as many posted. So let me know in the comments below. Do you like this figure? Did you get this figure? Um, did you not get this figure? Why not? Do you have the previous one? You know... Let me all that. Let me know all that in the comments, and let me know what you want to see next, since I got a lot of stuff to do. And uh, do you want to see, you know, which one of these guys do you want to see reviewed next week? Um, I will do that. Let me know in the comments below. One of these three is next week, and I don't know which one yet. So, let me know which one, and I will try and do that one for uh, Wednesday next week, since Tuesday is already eaten up by what if. So. Uh, as well, if you haven't done it already, I would always appreciate a like as well as a subscribe down below. We did hit 70 recently, trying to go for 100 by the end of the year. Got two months for that, and I hope we could do it because it would be a great milestone to hit, and I'd be very excited. Don't have anything special planned for it yet, um, but hopefully you guys, you know, help me get there, and I would really appreciate it. Also, check out the gameplay channel. Got Ark coming back over there soon, and we got Pokemon coming up probably soon as well so if you do want to check out there and twitter as well i would always appreciate that as well and uh i will see you all in the next one hopefully tomorrow don't know what we're reviewing yet and uh yeah bye everyone have a good one